All right, this time we're taking a look at uh, Streamlink. Uh, it used to be called Live Streamer, but um, they forked it. Now it's called Streamlink, but it does the same thing. Anyways, let's say for example, uh, we have this what was that stream was a livestream.com here, and if you want to watch it using your own player, um, you know we can do that. So we do was that stream link, and you just paste in the uh, URL, All right? And by default, uh, it will just show you the available streams. And usually what people do is they use best, but you can use any of these other ones uh, if you want to type it in. But uh, if you want to watch it here, let me uh, mute the sound first just in case. Anyways, we'll do the same thing, but you can see like we can have like, you know, uh, this one here. Or you can do like worse. They have worse here. I think last time I talked about this program, they didn't have this option of worse. They had like best and medium or something like that. But you can do like worse, or you can do like best, and this one will, you know, play the video with uh, VLC here. Now, if you want to change the player to something else, um, what I think we can do, let's say if I want to change it to like MPV or M player or whatever it is, I can do dash P, and I can do like MPV here. All right, and this one will open with MPV instead of um, VLC we did before. All right. Anyways, that's it for um, the options there. Now you don't want to do that every time. So what they do, they, they have in here is they do have a configuration, and that is what we're gonna do. And uh, let's bust our configurations here. This one should be in your home folder. It's just called uh, .streamlink RC. Right. So it's just a text file. And usually what I like to have in here is uh, this enable, uh, this one, and the default stream. So, you know, I like it to have um, 720p first. If they don't have 720p, go into 10, 1080p. If they don't have that, go to, uh, what is that, 480p, and then medium, and then best. All right, so that's the order I like it uh, to be in if they have those, um, you know, quality, right? And as far as this one here, um, it's just using MPV and it caches it and it puts it in a corner that I like. So that's what we have in there. So for example, let's do that again here. All right, we have Streamlink. Uh, what do we need to put best in here? We just put the link, just put Streamlink and then the URL and automatically it'll uh, take whatever the uh, arguments I have in my configurations. And you see it puts it in the corner and I can watch it that way and I can do other stuff in my terminal real easy right now this program you know it works more than just uh, a few sites they have like a list of sites here so if I do stream link uh, dash dash plugins right so these are all the um, other sites that they has like a plugin for basically it will you know um, strip out the URL they can pass on to whatever player you want and most people they use this for like twitch and stuff like that but you can use like Al Jazeera uh, we'll do that one next here Al Jazeera where's that one at so here you go this is the live feed I paused it but uh, you know if I want to watch this one here I do stream link and we'll paste in the URL and it should play uh, Al Jazeera news here uh, you know in uh, my M player, and it will be in the corner here, right? So these are like live feeds that they have, anyways. However, a lot of people use this one mainly just for Twitch streams so they can watch their gameplay. So we're gonna go to a, sh um, a stream in here, right? So let's, for example, I don't know, we'll pick one of these, and we're just gonna copy uh, the URL, right? We'll go back, we don't want to load that up, and we'll do the same thing. Uh, and it should work, you know, any of these. So this is a Twitch here. And it should play in MPV any minute. Uh, there you go, right? So hopefully you get the idea. Now the difference between this and uh, YouTube DL, although it's kind of not really that much difference nowadays, but the main goal of this one is to be like just for the live streams only. Uh, as far as like YouTube DL, they're mainly for like uh, videos that's already been uploaded, already recorded, and all that. Uh, but this one is mainly for like you know live streams. Although YouTube DL does do like most of the live streams uh, for different sites nowadays too. So 
uh, you know they're kind of like similar programs nowadays anyways uh, that's the difference and if you want to use it uh, it should be in your repositories you know it's just called live not live stream it should call it stream link now uh, the old one is called live streamer uh, that'll be it for this one 